Hello friends, I'm Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Eye Institute and welcome to this channel of Eye Logs, which has everything to do with vision and eye care. And today is a very interesting topic called keratoconus. Yes, it sounds very complicated, but it's everything to do with the cornea, which is the front transparent part of the eye. So what exactly is keratoconus? The front transparent part of the eye which is called the cornea, which is like a dome, it actually starts bulging out in a form of a cone and that's why it's called keratoconus. It's known to affect both eyes but many times we have seen patients where only one eye is affected. Many of my patients ask what age it is really affecting your cornea and we have seen that it affects between the age of 10 to 25 and it's known to progress for 10 to 15 years. So what are the complaints that my patients really make? One is they have blurred or distorted vision. Two, there is increased sensitivity to light and glare which causes problems for night driving. A need for frequent change of glasses, so if the prescription keeps changing and sudden worsening of vision. But what I've seen is that many times patients don't realize this condition because they are seeing with both eyes. It's very important friends when you are at home, check your vision with one eye covered and then with the other eye covered you can look at the TV and just check whether both eyes are equal. Because many times I've seen that patients worsen with keratoconus in one eye and because the other eye is good, they don't realize and they come quite late. So this is a precaution you can take at home. What is the cause of keratoconus? The cause is really not known, but it's known to be hereditary or genetic. And it's also known that if you rub your eye vigorously, it can cause keratoconus. We have seen that all the parents and siblings have to be checked and we have seen normally in 1 is to 10 ratio one of the parent or one of the sibling would also be affected with this disease. There are certain risk factors which are documented. One is a family history of keratoconus, rubbing the eyes vigorously as I mentioned, uh, sleeping with pressure on the eye and having certain conditions like retinitis pigmentosa, Down syndrome or any syndrome that affects the collagen of the body. Now as doctors, how do we come to a diagnosis of keratoconus? One simple thing is that if you have a cylindrical number, it keeps changing, the axis keeps changing and your vision doesn't improve completely, you may have keratoconus. A very important test is called corneal topography. It actually checks the thickness of the cornea, it checks all the parameters of the cornea and tells us whether you are developing keratoconus or not. So coming now to the most important part is the treatment. So treatment, there are two, three options. One option is we have to freeze the disease from progression. And the only way to freeze it is by doing a treatment called collagen cross-linking. It's also called C3R. We also need to improve the quality of vision. And that can be done by a process where we put two small rice-like particles of plastic inside the cornea. They're called intacts. So the cone which is decentered gets automatically centralized. And this improves the quality of vision. By centralizing the cone, if you want to wear contact lenses at a later date or you want to put a contact lens inside the eye, it's called ICL. It's possible because the cone is centralized with the procedure called Intax with C3R. There's one latest procedure which is also done for keratoconus, it's called TREK, where we apply a little bit of laser to reduce the number a little bit and then do the cross-linking. So this again assists in centering your cone, one, and reducing your power and improving your quality of vision. So these are the options for treatment of keratoconus in today's science. So friends, this brings me to the end of this episode on keratoconus on this channel of iLogs, which is everything to do with vision and eye care. If you have any comments or questions regarding this topic, feel free to comment on the box below and we'll get back to you. Please share this episode with friends and family so that this information can be spread around.